assalamu alaikum this video we are going to add some other type of functionality here so we want that if we are on the road uh, if our car player is on the road it should be with a uh, better grip and road grip will be better and if it is on the train the road grip will be uh, not that much better uh, than before okay so how we can do that so for that purpose we can uh, actually play with the uh, colliders wheel colliders and uh, here you can see that we have these settings for the forward friction and sideways friction so we have to modify these uh, settings with uh, for the stiffness uh, for the side friction and for the forward friction so how we can do that so what we will do we will just go to scripts and in save script we will create two main bool variables or uh, one will be public static bool on the road and the other will be on the train and then we will go to car controller script and inside car controller script of the standard assets on the line number 295 uh, sorry 283 i hope you will find this function where you will have uh, 277 sorry uh, check for wheel spin and uh, in this function we will add here this if statement and also i am i just added this code so if wheel hit dot collider if uh, it is actually this function is uh, checking the hit of the wheel okay so it is actually um, sending a ray cast for the wheel and uh, it's uh, calculating that uh, whether the wheel is on ground on train or any other thing we can calculate with this function so here you can see that we have created if statement and we have said that if wheel hit dot collider dot compare tag road then we are also debugging this message just for testing purpose and the main function will be save script dot on the road it will be true if we are on road and uh, the on the train will be false and if we are on train then we uh, we uh, the on the road uh, bool variable will be false and on the train bool variable will be true so it's very simple so now we will just go to our uh, scene and i will select the road and if uh, we select the road you can see that uh, this only the track is selected here okay so that is great and uh, now what we can do we can just click here and uh, we can just uh, add a tag here and we can uh, name this tag road tag which we have defined in our script and then we will select this third track and we will just uh, select the road layer and that's great also for the sub layers if we select everything you can see that the other things are not road here uh, you can see this area is not road so we will select one by one everything and then we will just change it to be road and uh, also you can see these fences here we don't want to modify the fence we will uh, code these fences later on but the main track is now uh, road and now we we'll select the train so this is the train and we will just uh, add a tag here and uh, we will just add a train with a capital T train and uh, now we will select the train again uh, and we will just select the tag train to it save it and uh, now we will just uh, move back to our script so here you can see that uh, after adding these two things in save script and car controller script we will create one new script and uh, that script name is wheel slip value you can name it whatever you want but in my case i have named it wheel slip value so in this wheel slip value script we are actually creating wheel collider we are getting actually wheel colliders we will see and then we are calling these wheel collider in instantiating these wheel colliders in start function wheel z equal to get component y wheel colliders and then we are calling uh, getting this wheel colliders in start function so here we have created uh, uh, four main variables for the road forward stiffness 
and these variables will be float because the uh, this contains decimal uh, values so here you can see road friction forward friction is 3f which we already have in unity i just uh, uh, added 3f uh, friction for the forward friction you can see uh, the stiffness is 3 and then sideways i have used 1.1 so here we have created road sideways stiffness 1.1 and then for the train we have created the stiffness for 0 0.06 and for train sideways stiffness we have make it to 0 0.2 uh, f okay so that's great so now we will just add a uh, an update function we will create if statement and we will say that if uh, uh, save script dot on the road that if we are on the road then what will happen then we are saying that wheel friction curve this wheel friction curve means these two components so here you can see forward friction and sideways friction these both components are actually wheel friction curves so we can use inside uh, unity we can name it wheel friction curve and it is default uh, function here and uh, default namespace actually and we can uh, then uh, add it to forward friction and uh, then we are making it wheel c dot forward friction so we are making this uh, forward uh, 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 this equal to the forward friction then we are getting this forward friction dot stiffness so we are getting the stiffness from the forward friction so the forward friction is this one so we are getting this stiffness value from this friction and we are making this to road forward stiffness when we are on road and then we are making this forward friction equal to forward friction so uh, everything uh, it means that forward friction will be uh, same but the uh, we are uh, actually modifying this uh, forward friction stiffness value to road forward stiffness and similarly we are making it for sideways stiffness we are uh, getting the sideways stiffness and making it to road sideways stiffness and similar code you can copy and then paste here inside if on road on the road statement uh, st uh, uh, statement then if we are on road then we will just uh, copy and paste the code and we will just change the trains to sideways stiffness and train forward stiffness save it and now if we move back to our unity and uh, then if we play the game hopefully uh, it should work so let's see so now if we go to console you can see that uh, on the, we are on the road and we will as you can also see the stiffness value is 0.1 and 1 and actually sorry before doing this thing we have to add the script to the uh, these wheel colliders okay so otherwise it will not work so we'll just go to standard assets and vehicles and we have created the script in the same scripts folder and then we will select all of these things and uh, this is the field slip value so we'll add it here okay so now you can see this is the value is here so now if we play you will see that uh, when we will start and when we will be on the road then you can see the values are fine and our grip is quite good yeah that's very good nice and if we move back to our this area you can see the stiffness uh, should change but uh, here if you see in console you can see null reference for wheel spin null reference section why what is the problem so okay some issues here so let's play it again So on the road, we are on the road, and if we are on the train, it should be on the train. So if we are on the train, 
yeah you can see that on the train messages appear and uh, here but you can see that road forward friction and other things are not changed uh, for some reasons although we can see message on the train and uh, what is the what can be the problem so 285 number line it's showing us that it has some problems so let's go to car controller script 285 for number line and uh, if we are uh, okay it should be in for loop and if we are calculating road it should be on road and uh, if we are on train on the road should be false and uh, on the train should be true and uh, we can actually make it false initially as well no problem and uh, what is the problem here if we check it out here save script on the road and yeah actually we are making mistake here so here you can see we are save script on the road and we have to change it to save script on the train for the train so this was the mistake so now hopefully it will be fine so let's try it out again Now you can see we are on the road and uh, here the strip has not changed and if we are on train you can see that the value is changed here and uh, the control is quite difficult now. Here you will see uh, although here we can't see the strip value uh, the change here actually if we come here you can see we can't see here the slip values change but uh, if we select the wheels you will see that uh, here uh, the side of your friction is changed because we are on train and uh, if we are on road then you will see that the stiffness will be changed on the road you can see stiffness changed so that's great we have successfully implemented this functionality and now whenever we will be on road stiffness will be fine and uh, when we are on train the stiffness will be changed there and uh, that's good but uh, we are getting these errors so I will check it out that what are these errors so here you can see we spin car controller wheel spins for some reason these errors we will fix these errors no problem uh, in the later videos initially we will just make it true because we will starting on the road and uh, then just save it everything is fine in the last I will do one more thing I am not satisfied with this camera of a cine machine and also one more thing that whenever you do the programming we should delete the uh, these debug.log functionality so if you have a lot of debug.log options in your game, uh, your game will be uh, very slow, okay? So it will cause problems with the uh, speed of the game or the performance of the game. So you should delete these debugs before moving further. And uh, now I will just uh, change the main camera because I'm not satisfied with this uh, Cinemachine camera. You can definitely use uh, customize this according to your needs no problem but i will directly use the uh, uh, the main camera of a multi-purpose camera from the standard assets so we'll just select the scene objects and in scene objects i think we have this camera uh, let's delete this camera we don't need it and i will just delete the car camera as well and we'll put this multi-purpose camera and for this multi-purpose camera i will just uh, uh, 
add this target value which is already added here and uh, the position of the camera is now if you will see by default it is on 0 0 axis so by default here you can see and uh, uh, you can bring it near to the car position uh, because when we play the car the camera will come from all away uh, away from here so we don't need that so I will select the car and I'll just copy the component of the position okay and uh, then I will just select the camera and I will just paste the component values and now if we press F you can see that our camera is here but uh, I will just place this camera in front of car also I will just uh, make this car little bit uh, I will just rotate this both things a little bit to this side so and also like this and then I will select the multiple per camera I will just move this camera here okay and uh, then I will rotate it to the uh, y axis like this and this point a little bit more okay and that's good so now when we play the game we will have a very nice effect of camera as well in the beginning so you will see that ah yes this thing we want and you can see that now the camera quality is quite good and uh, i will just we can actually see the front of the car as well with certain cases Okay, so that's great that's it for this video next video we will move further goodbye